everybody and what a beautiful evening the sun's shining it's frugal friday we're both a bit skin well i say we're skin you know you know what it's like beginning of month all helen's bills go out and my business is just dead at home and i don't think anybody's got any money nobody's nobody's spending out so we want to go out and do something but do it on cheap and with this beautiful weather we thought let's go up to Stanage Edge or somewhere like that just somewhere not far so we can get there quick uh, and just have a little picnic so I'm outside the house now I'm just waiting for it to come out wonder how late it shall be today it's a woman's prerogative isn't it win over Alejandro Davidovich Fokina but both Andre Rublev and Jessica Fagula's top five seeds have been knocked out Thank you, Russell. There's commentary. I'm not even going to read. Got my daughter's journal. Oh, bless her. That's obviously a picture of me. As a man, you probably end up spending a good large percentage of your life waiting for a woman, don't you? Your wife or your partner. Just come in, my ass. It's not going to be a big walk, this is it? Cause it's going to be dark. Just come in now. Just come in. 15 minutes ago. Oh, she's here. She's coming. Hello, Hello gorgeous. <laughs> You're looking very beautiful. Are you okay? Yes. Mm, yeah. Mm. I am now. You've eventually come out. <gasps> <laughs> yeah. I've used all my memory up waiting for you. Have you? So where are we going? Up Stanage or somewhere? I don't know. There? We just need to boom, get parts up. Yeah. Like Where'd you I park did, for Stanage Edge? Well, when I did that Burbage Edge, I just parked literally yes. three minutes from where Stanage I went. Stanage Edge. But I kind of think where it is. Well, have a look. That's just a little this bit further bucket. down. Have a look. I haven't got brought up after it. I know where I'm going. Oh. We've already stopped. We've only been going five minutes. And she asked me if I'd got crispy bread, and I ain't got crispy bread. So she's had to nip into Sainsbury's to get crispy bread. Careful, boy, you get a ticket. Will you? Put your reg in. Yeah, put your reg in just in case, otherwise you get 100 quid fine. Nice one, I will do, mate. Thank you. Yeah, will do. Cheers. One thing after another. That were a really nice chap there. I've pulled in at the side of Sainsbury's and it's a pub car park and there's like a camera up there. And if you pull in, you get 100 quid fine absolute sods they are so it's time we just go and put your number plate in behind that there's people trying to get you wherever you go trying to rob money off you we're not in a city centre you know but that's what these companies do they prey on people sort of darling yeah can we make a move now <laughs> we'll get there for tomorrow <laughs> It's a good job he said, isn't it? It is. I wouldn't have known. Yeah, that's good of him to say. Yeah, God, it's just, awful. It's, it's, they're just it's scumbags. It's because there's like shops and things around here, but isn't there's it? Not, there's not many. I mean, it's not... Guess they're on the car park. 
so you walk in and there's like a console that you type into it. I just walked in and typed it in. See ya! <laughs> See, when you get out at van, it's quite cold because we're high up. So that's where I went last week and had my beer up there. There's a few people parked up here for tonight. It's a cracking spot, this. So we're going to spend night here. I'm wondering whether to go up there. I don't know what that is. Helen, do you think we should go over that one? It looks nice up there, doesn't it? Your legs are going to be freezing. I'm going to put me, uh, I might even put my jeans on, I don't know. We've had to do a quick change because you get up here and it's, even though it's absolutely beautiful, it's, well, I've it, not. it's cold, but she's got legs out at last. <laughs> I really feel bad. I've don't offered feel her. Bad, it's fine. I've offered her some of my... Uh, I'm not going to wear your jogging bottoms. My jogger bottoms, but she weren't bothered. No, I'm all right. So it's not a bad old view. As I was saying on my video last week, 10 minutes out of Sheffield, this. That's one of the things I do love about Sheffield, and I said that as a Barnsley lad. You okay, babe? Yes, darling. Do my hand. No, I'm good, thank you. But thanks for asking. There's a trick point up here. That's Stanley's edge. Because it curves around. So this is obviously part of it, isn't it? Yeah. Does it say out on trick points normally? Sometimes. <sighs> you don't say out on it. At least that bloody kid shut up. The problem is, you find a lovely place to have a picnic and you've got screaming kids. Go and show them off. Look. Yeah, that. That's where my Yankee got to. Oh, God. <laughs> Which wine do you want first? Which wine? Yeah. Look, napkins. That camera's going to be showing right up your skirt. It's not. It does work with those people's bags. Yeah, I can always sit on that. Look, I'm not missing crackers. But no butter. Which white? No, I forgot butter. You should have let me do it. Well, I know, but you're all busy. Look! <laughs> That's amazing. Do you like it? So, this is my frugal picnic for Frugal Friday. And this is the view from our picnic spot. Cheers. Cheers, darling. Cheers. Cheers to the British countryside. I've got some shout outs. Oh yeah, we have got some shout outs. You've got some. Mm. I think. Let me look. I've got some. Let me put my glasses on. Look at my glasses. 
Everybody's got a pair of glasses like that, haven't they? <laughs> I've just broken. I have to get some more. Hello to Chloe Leyland. That's from... Oh, yeah. Have you got that one as well? Yeah. <laughs> She's going to do one as Chloe! well. Chloe! Hi! And that's I from... To do that that's one. from your fella. Yeah. Not your fella, her fella. Hang on, I've got notes here. I've got another one. Have you got another one? Yeah. Who's your other one? I've got Ellie and Stee. Where have you got them from? I met them at Alton Towers. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for saying hello. That was amazing. My children were there and they were shocked. <laughs> and then I've got Angela Stone. Happy birthday, Angela. It's, I made a note. <laughs> you, you're 50, or you're gonna be 50. I don't know when, but 50 is like the best age ever. It's the new 40. So happy birthday, Angela. Happy birthday. It is, being 50 is brilliant. I know, I'm 50 next. I know. What are we doing for your 50th? We're going to Las Vegas. Oh, where? Yeah. Just think at YouTube content. Vegas, baby. Is that where you want to go? No. You want to do a skeggy? I'm not bothered. Are you videoing me as well? Yeah, I think we bought Oh gosh, I'm having a right chow down. <laughs> Yeah, I wasn't sure what we were doing, if we were going to the pub or what. <laughs> and I thought it, it was a date, so I put my skirt on. It is a date. Why isn't this a date? It is a date. Date night. Yeah. It's getting a bit nippy now, isn't it, Ellen? I feel sorry about your legs. You've got corned beef legs. <laughs> <laughs> You remember cold. when you were in PE? Yeah, you're doing school. PE. When you're doing PE, like Cross country minus, run. minus <sighs> five, and and you got your bloody leotard on. Yeah. <laughs> well, I never wore a leotard in PE. I can assure you of that. But oh, look at that! We're going to get this sunset, and then uh, we? yeah. we're going to go back to the van and watch a film and have another bottle of wine. Gosh, oh, it's, it's bloody chilly, isn't it? It's chilly. It's, it's romantic, romantic, though. It is. <laughs> <laughs> Snogging. Give me a kiss. Gil. Then. Stop being Give passionate. Me a kiss, <laughs> yeah, but I'm not going to. You don't have to put it on. Just, it's on camera. Just do a kiss. Like, they are like for telly. No, <laughs> snogging, that's later. I like snogging. That's later. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want people getting any ideas. Oh, I've got corned beef so we, legs. You've got corned beef legs. So <laughs> <laughs> let's go and watch a film. No, no, we need to see the sun going down. How long oh, do you think we've got left? I don't know. I wish you would get a move on. <laughs> I'm more interested to stay to you. You look like a right vagabond. What? You be carrier bag and hold oh, up. You look like, I feel like I need to gear a pound. Are you trying to say I look rough? You're looking a bit rough there, love. Oh, you're still beautiful Jeez, and man. I love you, but you're just, we you carry your bag. Here, let me carry it. So look at all these vans here. So, yeah. If anybody recognises your van, <laughs> say hello. Name that van. There she is. Orphan van. Sandwiched in between good vans. Uh, <laughs> Why have I got lots of chins? No, I want to buy a light in general. Because like when what we do film... you mean in general? There's only no, me and you be... here! No, because when you film... <laughs> so basically, you say, you're say you telling me? No, I wasn't. I'm on about when you're filming, when you're laid. So I keep trying to camera at different angles. That looks a good angle up there, doesn't it? <laughs> and I says to Alan, I says, watch your chins. And I didn't mean it like that, because when I watch this on other videos, because I normally have camera on side here, and when you're laid like that, it's you get loads. But of who cares? We're not bothered. Everybody's got a chin. Yep. So, just some people have more than one. We've got some wine, and some cookies, some crisps, and some olives. So, 
And olives, I'm not fancying olives. Why? I'm a bit olived out now. Oh yeah. Yeah. You see, I'd, I'd rather have the olives than the cookies. Would you? You're yeah. more savoury, aren't you? Yeah. I'm definitely sweet tooth. We've got to try and find something to watch. But before then, let's propose a toast. Cheers. Cheers. To uh, chin chin. Chin chin. No, not <laughs> that chin. The other one. You do that every time. <laughs> I've just kept my jeans on for the time being because I feel there's going to be another wee coming on. And uh, <laughs> before proper sleep. Another when wee. you get to 50, you can't go all night without a wee at middle at night. Never. Well, as, well, I can't. I have to do a wee at middle at night. Do you? Yeah. You're like an old woman. Like an old man. Aren't you? But I'll just go out and have a wee in bushes. There's no bushes there. I'll just waft it about into the countryside. <laughs> waft it about. Water the flowers. Yeah. But uh, we've got to decide what we're going to watch. Smile at me. Your teeth are looking very white. What have you, have you done? I something? brushed them. I brushed them. <laughs> so I've just put my jumper on. We're going to do a quick getaway because Helen's got to get home and I've got to go and pick my daughter up. So we're just going to leave everything back here and I'll sort it out later. What about these glasses? I need to put those in my bag. And there's some cheese crackers there, I'll take that. You can have those. Oh, thanks. Yeah, look at it, sun's coming out. It's going to be freezing out there. It looks very windy. What do you do with your bottle of drink? I'm going to put that in front. There's people up there already. <laughs> I've just chucked everything. I've got a parcel I need to drop off this morning. So we've got a neighbour there. I'm just going That's in my jars. So a few people stayed here last night then. That's where we had this picnic. There's the orphan van. I don't know if you can see because the camera keeps going a bit fuzzy with it's focusing on crap on windscreen. But yeah, this is where we parked last night. This is the spot. Lots of vans. It is popular, Stanage Edge. <laughs> so anyway, tune in next time for more stuff. <laughs> and uh, make sure you comment and subscribe and like and thank you so much for watching our nonsense love you all bye, bye. silly, silly.